What's up Amazon sellers? If you are just starting on Amazon and you're wondering how can I find deals from newsletters, from emails, and from suppliers, well, don't worry today. This is the video for you. I'm gonna go through how to do it and step-by-step -step example. So stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I have been selling on Amazon now for about four years doing online arbitrage in the UK. Right now, I'm on a mission to do one million pounds over the next 18 months. I'll drop a link up there to a video about my whole journey and I break it down month by month and the budgets as well. But enough about me, let's go through what I'm gonna talk about today. Okay, so first things first, number one, I'm gonna share about what are deals from emails. Number two, I'm gonna say why you should be looking for deals through emails for your Amazon business. Number three, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of sourcing for deals through emails and newsletters. Number four, I'm gonna talk about what to look for when you're reviewing the emails. Number five, I'm gonna show you how it works and we'll go live on the screen share. And then finally, number six, I'm gonna give you some top tips to really up your game and drive the profits and revenue home. Is it worrying that this is probably my fourth coffee for today? No, no, not at all. Okay, first things first, what are Amazon deals through email? Well, quite simply, just it's what it says on the tin. This is whereby suppliers, retail stores, online stores, they will send you an email about the offers that they have on right now, and you can use them to shortcut your sourcing to discounted or, or potential deals straight away. In addition to this as well, suppliers also, on certain websites, allow you to enter your email address in when a product is out of stock to be notified when it comes back in stock. So as well, you can get an email to remind you about a product which is now coming to stock that you can buy. And obviously you've done the research already, so you know it's a profitable deal. So it helps you find deals quicker. Now, quite simply, why should you care? Well, interesting enough, it actually works really, really well. It's basically the suppliers telling you about offers they've got on, discounts, maybe even you know, promotions they are currently running, and they're letting you know about them through their email newsletters that you can do. Quite simply, it helps you find profitable products quicker. So let's go through some pros and cons of newsletter sourcing because everything has its upside, but also there's some negatives. So first things first, let's talk about the pros. Okay, so with newsletter sourcing, the one thing that I love is it's simple, it's quite easy. They send you a message to tell you they've got an offer on. And generally offers mean cheaper prices, which means better profits. You're gonna find more likely to find profitable items quicker. Now, number two, Generally, all offers, that once you've clicked on the email, go to the website, they're gonna be laid out in a nice order to say, here are all our offers. And as a result, it means it really clearly identifies all the cheap products. As a result of getting the newsletter and the layout, it just saves you time. It makes your life so, so much easier. So a really good way, and we find it really helpful in our business and lots of other sellers too. Well, what are the cons? Well, quite simply, you can be bombarded with emails. And I'll tell you an example later on, but you can actually sign up to too many newsletters and it can take a lot of time to go through. The other thing is if you, there are gonna be selected stores that always have great deals on, and as a result, everyone already knows about them and they too are signed up to the emails. As a result, if you get the right store, you can see a serious increase in competition because not only you are getting that email, a lot of other people are getting it as well. Now, this has two effects. Number one, the competition or the stock gets sold out with the supplier very quickly. But also number two, because of the increased competition, it means that you're going to have more competition on the listing and that can affect things such as the sale price that's happened with the product, especially on the slower selling items within Amazon. You'll generally see that more competition means a selling price that goes down. So just be aware of that. One thing which I will kind of add to that as a caveat is to say if the supplier sells out quickly and it's a fast selling line in Amazon, what that does mean is that because you bought it at such a great price, once the competition sells out, you can then control the buy box, control the listing because you have enough stock and you can't buy it anymore at that price. So you can make some good profits 
but you just gotta learn how to play the game. Okay, so quick question for you guys. We are doing a series of videos about different types of sourcing, emails, voucher codes, clearance sections, everything. How do you source your products? What's your number one go-to method? Drop it in the comments down below. I'm really keen to see what are the different sourcing methods that you're using to find deals in your business? Maybe you know something that I don't and I'll get in contact and we can have a chat about new sourcing methods that are working for you. Number four, what to do before you start doing newsletter sourcing? Well, this is quite obvious, but I'm gonna go through it just in case you don't know. Number one, find a store that you want to get the newsletter. Then go look for where you can sign up to their newsletter. Generally, they'll have some kind of like create an account or they'll have some option where you click on something and it's gonna sign up to their newsletter. Obviously add in your details. And then finally, go to your inbox and accept or confirm that you're happy to receive their newsletters on a regular basis. And I do that and I think it works really well, but I'd also just add in there, possibly move them into a folder, create a rule within your email account. It's gonna help you out sorting that from the normal mail. Right, what I will say is stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna go through a live sorting in a minute, but there is a really cool trick you can do with do with Gmail with their email addresses that is just going to save you so much time and make your life so, so much easier. So stay tuned. I will show you that at the end. It's going to just help you out in doing newsletter sourcing. We do it all the time in my business and it's, it's quite a game changer in getting emails. Okay, so how does newsletter sourcing work? Well, let's go through it now live on the computer and I'll show you step by step how to actually do this live on screen. Okay, so let's start sourcing from my emails. And quite simply here, I've got a selection of all the emails that I've got from multiple, multiple suppliers. So what you can do is we'll just click on here, fill unique, have a look at them. And what do we see here? So they've got something's back in stock, fantastic. So quite simply, you can see this product is now back in stock and that's like where we're getting products that are out of stock, back in stock, which I really like. Now, what we're gonna do is load up this product into a new page and we can then have a look through that product and see if it's available in Amazon as well. So we'll load up the supplier and then we'll load up in Amazon as well. So quite simply, you can see here, this is, this is now going for 990, which I'm really happy with. And then we'll just go search that into Amazon. Let's we'll search that. We've got here yeah, 9 pound 90, we've got 10% off, so it's on sale, fantastic. And let's search that in Amazon. Have a quick look here. That's going for about £12. And you can see it's probably, that's not going to be a profitable product, but it's about £12. Yeah, and then 9 90 on this one. So let's have a look for another one. I'm coming in now. Okay, Colin and Barrett, penny sale. I all like the penny sale. They do a really good, like, buy one, get one for a penny. So we'll have a look down here. And it's saying, interesting, it's saying plus an extra 15% off when you spend £20 or 20% off when you spend £40. I like that. Not only buy one and get one for a penny, you're also getting an additional percentage off. So let's load that up now. Let's go through. We come through, so scrolling down. Have a quick look for a couple of products. So there's a lot of products here, 536. So I'm just gonna kind of trim it down to a certain brand. So if we choose one, say like for example, Nature's Way, we'll have a look at Nature's Way. I'm just trying to get to a, an opportunity straight away. So quite here, we've got some of these uh, gummies. So this, this first one, quite interesting. Let's have a copy that, take that name and search for that. Let's have a quick look down. So this is going for $14.99 and you got buy one, get one for a penny. So that's probably going to be about £7.50 and we've got the 20% off on top. So, oh yeah, quite here. This one, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, 60 gummies. Fine, fine. Oh, there you go. So let's open that up. Let's just open it up and have a quick check. It's going to be really... It's going to be the right thing. So here we go, 60 gummies. I can see that 14.99 divided by two. And remember it's 20% off, so 5.99. So let's have a quick look back. What, it's going for 13.99. And remember we've got 20% off, so that's great. You see that there. Let's just come down. Cool, okay, so, uh, oh, slowing down. Just waiting for my tool to load up now. A lot running. So let's put in that price, 599. Now you can see here I'm going for 265 and it's going to make 44.24. Now, quite simply, eligible to sell just on this account. I can sell these products, I know that for a fact. And you can see there, it's got about 
300 sales and that keeper graph looks really good. Now you might say that that profit is now probably a little bit low, it's just below that three pound mark, really good ROI and the sales per month on that are amazing. And you know what, given that that uh, sales per month are really good, I'm happy to take a couple of pence under three pounds, that's fine. So really like that one. And we found that one, not only because you know it was on offer, but because we got that newsletter come through with the extra 20% off. So just allowed us to jump in, find a deal very, very quickly. So very, very helpful there. And that's pretty much it. That is it whereby you are getting an email from the supplier. You can go scroll through them and then quite simply going to their website, finding some products, searching for those same products on Amazon and looking for those deals. And sometimes you are getting notified of opportunities, vouchers, extra things that you would never get had you not got that email. So really, really important to sign up to them. Now, I just want to take a moment to say that email newsletter sourcing is fantastic. We use it and it does work really well, but it's still a time consuming method. There are a number of emails that get sent to you which are just not profitable. And you know what? You still have to go through them all, search all the deals, and it takes time. And quite simply, what do I want to say to you is that we have a service in Fast Track FBA called Fast Track FBA Leads. Now this is whereby quite simply my team of sources in the UK and USA are going through all the newsletters, going through the vouchers, going through all the websites for sales. What are they doing? They're looking for those deals. They're finding the deals exactly like you've just seen now on the screen share. And quite simply, what do we do? Once we've found a deal that meets our criteria, minimum 30% ROI, we will put that information onto our website, Fast Track FBA Leads. And what you can do is you can come in, search all of the deals that we found, and we'll show you all the information about the product. And then you can literally unlock the supplier URL and ASIM, but then you can go out and buy that product. With us, you buy tokens and then you exchange those tokens for deals. And if there's any problems at all, you can pretty much get an instant refund on any deals out of stock, can't sell it, you're not eligible, gated perhaps. Any of these problems you can get an instant refund for. Lots and lots of customers have used this service and we're completely unique in the world of arbitrage leads. And it's a really quick way to help you find more deals faster and grow your Amazon business. So check it out, have a look at the link down below. That is really gonna help you out growing and scaling your Amazon business faster with Fast Track FBA leads. Okay, so that leads me quite nicely on to some sharing some top tips with you about using newsletter sourcing to help grow your business. Okay, a couple of top things I recommend for you. Number one, check those emails daily. Honestly, be on top of it. They, everyone else gets them, so you need to be on top of it as well. Number two, there's a really good trick that I'll recommend that you do with Gmail email addresses. Let's say, for example, my email address is tom at gmail.com. What I can do is I can put in like tom plus, and then maybe something like, I don't know, deals at gmail.com. Quite simply, anything after or from that plus symbol onwards, Gmail disregards and it will still go to tom at gmail.com. So I can put any variation in like tom plus deals, tom plus newsletters, tom plus anything. Now, why is that important? Because quite simply, when I sign up to my newsletters, I can use tom plus newsletters at gmail.com and then I can create a filter within my email inbox filter any emails that go to that email address into a separate folder. So now no longer do I need to filter by individual suppliers or people who sent them, I can just filter by who they sent it to and then move them into a separate folder. It just makes it so much easier for you managing your inbox and it's a game changer. Another top tip is that if you do that and you start finding that other people get your email address, then you can go, hey, I know this has come from maybe another supplier. Let's say for example, I give, I don't know, one email address, Tom at the name of their company, or Tom plus the name of their company at gmail.com. And then I find a different company gets that email. I know exactly who I gave that email to to start with. So really good way to spot who's sharing your email addresses. Now, quite simply, I'd also recommend understanding, getting to know when emails get sent out. You can search, say for example, if it's gonna be someone like Holland and Barrett, you might wanna search that in your inbox and you can see the frequency of when those emails are coming out because maybe they might be a good supplier and you want to know, hey, we're probably gonna get an email tomorrow about a good offer, let's be ready, let's have my team and let's make time available to source Holland and Barrett deals. 
expecting a newsletter to come out. Now, the final top tip I'd really recommend is number one, subscribe to as many stores as possible, get the newsletters. But once you've got the newsletters come through, maybe check one or two of them. If you are finding that the newsletter deals are bad, unsubscribe, get out of there, don't keep getting them. Quite simply, time and time again, I've seen my team as well sign up to a number of newsletters. And if I give you an example, my purchasing manager at one point told me he had 400, yes, 400 newsletters every day, not in total, but every day to look through. I was like, it's just not even physically possible to do that, don't even bother. So quite simply is when you get a newsletter, if it works, great, but if it doesn't, don't hesitate to unsubscribe. There are a number of suppliers out there right now who will have amazingly high prices. They'll give you a 50% discount code and only then is their sale price the same as Amazon. So don't be fooled by big discounts. Don't be fooled by sales when their initial starting price is so high. Unsubscribe, get out of that email. Only keep good suppliers that are gonna get you results. That's what we're after. Okay, so hopefully you've liked that video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up and hey, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a video around here on top ways to source for Amazon arbitrage deals. It's gonna help you in your business. Click on that, it's gonna really help grow your business. But for me, Thomas Parkinson here at Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.